Sending any control voltage to the two card two input jack on the easel automatically routes it to the two card two switches. Both switches in the center position have no effect. Switch number one in the upper position controls the wave shape of the mod oscillator. Therefore, the wave shape switch on your mod oscillator needs to be in the low triangle position for the control voltage to have any effect. Switch number one in the lower position affects the modulation type. Once again, the modulation switch on your easel needs to be in the low FM oscillator position in order to scroll through all three positions. Switch number two in the upper position controls gate two source from parallel both to external source. Once again, the gate two source switch needs to be in the bottom position for the control voltage to work. The second two card two switch in the bottom position affects the mode select of low pass gates one and two, going from voltage controlled amp through combination to low pass filter. These switches need to be in the bottom position to utilize the CV to full effect. I've set up this little patch coming from the uh, sequencer out of the easel going to the two card two input and then on to the two card two switch section. I'm just going to switch through the different permutations here. I just have the pulser driving the sequencer and pulser coming up on the gates here. There's nothing on here until we start shifting sources and things like that. Once again, all these Switches are in the down position. Upper position wave shape of mod oscillator. Down position of switch one for modulation type. Center position for neutral. Second switch, upper position, source select. Lower position, mode select of low pass gates. Adding wave shape. And mod type. Source select. And wave shape. And back to neutral. There you go. And stay tuned at this space for more tutorials. My next batch will include tips, tricks, and crazy patches. Bye.